Hey guys, it's Chase and heading out today to do a quick two day car camping trip. Uh, we just got our first blanket of snow here in Idaho for the winter and so I'm getting excited. But I figured go out, enjoy the, uh, enjoy the weather, enjoy the snow and share with you guys some of the methods that I use to help stay warm when I'm camping in the winter, whether it's uh, in a tent or, or in my car. And uh, hopefully that'll help you out make you a little bit less nervous to go camping in the winter. I know a lot of people tend to think that uh, it's only a summertime activity, but um, I've been camping year round for a handful of years now and you can have a blast. It is different, but there are some uh, tips that can make things a whole lot easier. So here we go. One nice thing about camping in the winter is that there's usually very few people out. Um, most people are fair weather campers and I have no clue why, but um, if you go out in the winter, you can get places to yourself. So you might have to work a little lot harder. It might be a little cold, but uh, bring a shovel and a jacket and the other tips that I'm gonna share, and you'll be good. Hiking down to a little hot springs, soak and uh, pre-warm for the night. It's chilly. I think it's supposed to be down in the 20s tonight, so not too bad, but uh, it's a big change from about two weeks ago. Made it down to the hot springs. This entire hillside is just loaded with uh, hot springs. So I'm checking them all. I'm gonna see which forage is just right for me. It's a really cool one right here. You can see, overlooking the river. And then there's a couple down at the bottom of this uh, cliff. So I'm gonna bounce down around, see those. This is awesome. Running out of light, but these ones feel nice. Down by the river. Woo! Look at that. Good old cliff of waterfall. Oh yeah, that's it. The hot springs were great. I was the only person there, so there we go. Um, yeah, it was awesome. Hiked out, and now I just drove a little ways to find a campsite. Um, found a nice one tucked up off the road near the river, so I'm gonna set up camp and make some dinner.
Alrighty, I am at camp and I'm cooking dinner. Um, normally I'll cook up something a little more complex, but I was feeling a little bit lazy today, so I just brought some leftover um, fried rice and teriyaki chicken from uh, last night. And it's frozen, but uh, it should thaw out and be nice and delicious here in about 10 minutes or so. So, staying warm when you're camping. May seem obvious, but uh, the first thing that um, I always do is try to start warm. So if you're driving to wherever you're gonna be camping, the last like 15, 20 minutes, crank the heat, get yourself to a point where you're almost uncomfortably hot, and then throw your jacket on, your hat on, all that stuff on before you can get out of the, the car. Uh, or if you're already at your campsite, then uh, maybe, you know, if you got a hot springs, make use of that. Um, that's what I did tonight and felt great. But uh, even if you don't, just doing doing some activity, you know, moving around, doing some push-ups and um, or some squats or, you know, just getting some blood flowing um, is key. And that'll just help carry through, you know, whether you're, you're hanging out to cook or you're climbing your sleeping bag. And along with that goes uh, food. So having food in your stomach is extremely helpful for keeping yourself warm, giving yourself the calories to burn, and at the same time not drinking too much. Uh, if you drink too much water, then well, obviously you're gonna have to wake up in the middle of the night and go pee out in the freezing weather. But your body also then has to keep that additional liquid that's in your body warm all the way through the night, and so um, it's burning calories to do that. So number one is start warm and eat plenty of food to get yourself there before you go to bed. Alrighty, while the food's cooking, I'm gonna talk about tip number two, and that is having good um, insulation when you're going to sleep. So your sleep system, um, which is made up of your, your sleep pad or mat and your sleeping bag. What I'm using tonight is just basically my backpacking setup that I use for cold weather. It's a little bit overkill, um, certainly not necessary to have this, I guess, this nice of gear. There's a lot of stuff out there that'll work, but um, I've got a Nemo pad and it's insulated, so it has a high R value. Um, pads are rated based on their R value and that's basically how well they insulate you from the ground, which is um, often the thing that steals the most heat from you at night when you're sleeping. So pad number one and then number two is to have a good sleeping bag. Um, again, I'm using a uh, um, Nemo down sleeping bag. This one's rated at zero degrees. So like I said, it's a bit overkill for the weather right now, but uh, I'm not a fan of being cold, so that's what I'm rolling with. Now, if you have a good sleeping bag for summer and you don't wanna have to buy a whole nother bag for um, camping in the winter, one other option is a um, pad, or sorry, a, a sleeping bag liner. So this is a, a Sea to Summit little liner here. And basically what it is, just a, um, a little mim or a mummy liner that goes inside of your sleeping bag and it's uh, supposed to increase the rating of your bag um, so that you can withstand some cooler temperatures. I don't use this that often just because um, my bag is pretty good, but I've talked to people who've had really good luck and they love these. So if you've got a summer bag and you wanna go out in the winter, this is a great way to uh, help transition. Dinner is done, but before I start eating, I'm gonna get the uh, next thing going. So tip number three is to boil some water and throw it in a water bottle that you can use to um, basically cuddle with in your sleeping bag to help warm yourself. So um, I've got a couple, I've got a little um, Nalgene bottle and then the bigger normal size. And if you just basically uh, boil up, you know, that, that water on your jet boil or your stove or whatever you've got, you can use it to throw it in your sleeping bag um, prior to you getting in and it'll basically preheat it a little bit and it feels really nice when you get in. It's like a dryer or a towel coming fresh out of the dryer, I guess. Um, and then you have some water that you can drink all night. It won't freeze if it's below freezing. Um, and then if you're going to be doing that, the best place to, to uh, I the light went out. Um, the best place to put it is near a main artery. So um, a lot of people recommend putting it like between your legs near your femoral or I guess wherever you find the most comfortable. Um, and it's actually pretty impressive how long they last. I've, I've had them last, you know, five, six hours before and in uh, zero degree temps and it feels great. So uh, that's a great option. And if you're uh, needing to keep the water warm for a little while before 
you're going to bed. Um, you can always shove it into your um, a spare jacket sleeve or something to help insulate it to keep it warm or something like this. I've got a little Nalgene bottle holder. So yeah, nice way to keep yourself warm, preheat your sleeping bag and have some warm water to sip on when you need it. Okay, before I go to uh, tip number four, I just wanted to say a couple of things. So in the past like five years, as I've started to do a lot more winter camping, um, I've kind of come to realize that uh, there's not really bad weather. There's just bad gear and bad attitudes. Um, and well, there's there's some somewhat bad weather sometimes, but for the most part, you can you can prepare to handle it. And it's usually just our attitudes that uh, get the best of us. Um, and so every year when I go out, uh, usually it ends up being the winter um, and I start snow camping. There's this book that I like to listen to. Uh, it's by Ryan Holiday. It's called The Obstacle is the Way. And it just helps me to kind of prepare mentally um, a little bit to, to help reframe the challenges that I'm going to deal with, you know, whether it's the cold weather or, you know, when I get back back to my everyday grind. Um, it's just a great book and I prefer it on Audible just so that I can um, listen to it as I'm driving and yeah so check it out if you like to okay next tip is wear some warm clothes to bed um, there's some debate as to whether Going to bed naked or wearing all your clothes is better. Um, I'm of the opinion that uh, more clothes is usually better as long as it doesn't uh, cause you to sweat. And so I always wear a nice warm hat, throw my hood up, leave my jacket on if it's really cold. And then the biggest game changer that I've discovered is down booties. These are like down insulated socks that I just throw over my uh, my normal socks. I, I uh, wear some uh, merino wool socks slip these guys on and that has been a game changer I used to always get cold feet um, just from my feet pressing into the end of my bivy or my sleep um, tent and that was always just the first thing that got cold and then from there it was just a downhill slide and so got these I can't even remember where I got them um, but I'll find some online and, and link them up in the description um, for you guys and yeah so these have been probably the single biggest um, game changer for sleeping while it's really cold outside okay that brings me to the last point and that is to use your vehicle's heater so if you're sleeping in your car you've got a big built-in heater fire it up every now and then warm up the the uh, compartment and then turn it back off um, i've heard you don't want to run them for extended amount of time i don't know if that's just because of the exhaust that could get into the car or what but yeah, use the heater um, here and there. Or if you don't want to do that, um, you can get a little buddy heater. I know a lot of people use those little propane powered heaters that are safe for being inside. They don't leave uh, CO emissions. And so you can run one of those and I guess they're, they're super effective. I personally don't um, just because I haven't bought one yet. But uh, so do those two things. And then one last thing that you can do is um, try to insulate your car a little bit. So. I've got these Reflectix cutouts. It's just basically a bubble wrap with like a tin foil covering, reflective covering. I painted one side of mine and then I cut them out to fit all of my windows. So um, if it's super cold, I can throw them in the windows and it helps to just insulate the inside a little bit better. And it also is really effective at keeping um, light in or out if you're trying to sleep in town or you just want to sleep past sunrise. So good. Uh, Reflectix window covering is a good way to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna hit the hay. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. And if you have any other tips, throw them in the description. Um, I certainly would love to learn more ways to stay warm when I'm out because I still get cold. Um, and I think just by nature of, of being outside when it's cold, you're always just gonna be a little bit uh, on the edge, but it's not a big deal. It's a great time of year to, to get out and, and just enjoy the uh the cooler weather and and you won't have to fight any crowds so there you go take care